Today I'm going to start fermenting two and a half gallons of apple juice, five cans of super sweet corn with no salt added, sugar, 10 grams of Red Star Distillers Active Dry Yeast, Let's check the starting gravity. Checking in the gravity again. 0 0.05, so 0 0.05, 1.05. So you got the 1.0, then you add the 5.0, that's your gravity. I'm going to try to get down to 1.090. 70 degrees, 70.6, adding 130 degree water, one gallon, three pounds of sugar, stirring it in. Checking the gravity again. Looks to be about 1.060. Three more pounds of sugar. Checking the gravity again. Success. Looks like we hit our target of 1.090. We're all set. So what that means is we got 12% potential of alcohol in this. Temperature is 80, what we got? 80, 2.4. I'm gonna add some more hot water in there to try to get the temperature up high enough to get the yeast in there so it can go without any issues. I'm gonna try some of this 140 degree water a little bit at a time. Find out what we got. 84. Oh no. Can I do it? Let's find out. I'm trying to get up to this level right here. Not too high. High enough. 200 degree water. All right, we got 89.2. So I'm going to have to pitch the yeast separately. I got some 95. 0.094.8 degree water. I'm going to start that. Mm, that should do. And we'll let this sit for about five minutes. Start again and pitch it in there. The yeast appears to be ready. A little foam on there, activate it, stir it in, slow wind up, and there's the pitch, goes right down in the center. Now time to swing this spoon here and hit a home run. There we go. We'll see how it tastes later. Get this stuff settled in, then I'll dump it in the little container here with this trusty fun this apple corn fermentation should be done in three weeks or less depending on the temperature bubble action starting to go some fizzing you can hear the sound if you're really close by or lift this off and put your ear to it this is robert coming from missouri thank you for watching fermented homestead